White House, wait, no. Take, oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> White Rock Homestead, take one. Do you even know how to use that thing? No, take, <sighs> take two. <laughs> oh, that's, I could not buy it. It was a dollar at a thrift shop. So take three. <laughs> You all do not understand how long she's been watching. This is what we're going to hear all day long. It's, Take four. This was bought a month and a half ago. It is. And, and I forgot, I forgot I had it. She's forgotten that it's been in the camera bag, and we've been grateful for it. No. Take six. Oh, we can't handle her right now. We just, we're going to walk away. Okay, we're gonna... okay. Hold on, hold on. Come back, so, come back, come back. All right. So, take seven. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here, Jake. You I evidently it. didn't get in my coffee what she got in her coffee. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, what a hot mess. I love that thing. I'm going to snort. <laughs> All right, so uh, anyway, we're gonna work on the tiny house for as long as we possibly can before the big snow comes in. And then uh, stay tuned to the end because we have some actual really huge news about the tiny house. It was a hard decision to make. Uh, wasn't exactly what we had planned, but it's come to that. So stay tuned to the end for the big reveal about the news about the tiny house. Take eight. <laughs> get out of here, get out. <laughs> I don't know what to do with her. I want that thing back. That's so, so fun. We're getting set up. Like she said, it's... They're calling for snow today. Who knows if it'll snow or not. We did get... I don't know how much of a good walk around we did before. Um, this is the bathroom edition here. Uh, first things first is we're going to go ahead and get the window installed here. We did get... I'm going to back up and see... Uh, yeah, you see it up there? Okay. Well, you've seen it. Um, we got the roof and everything on. It was all totally dried in. We wanted to make sure of that because they were calling for rain uh, before the snow. And so it it's not as wide. I know the shed's like 12. The original shed is 12 by 12. And that ended up being 8 foot wide. Uh, and then it only come out like 6, 6 and a half foot, something like that. Um, it, but then yesterday amongst our adventures we did go get some lumber uh, this is treated plywood and then underneath it is some of the treated one by and we're gonna do uh, kind of like we did on the well house where that was a different style because we knew we were painting that we don't want to paint this we want to keep it a natural wood so we're going to use this treated plywood get it put on uh, it was actually less expensive than the tongue and groove uh board and batten or not board and batten but the uh t111 so much cheaper than that and we can fake our board and batten which is going to look really good and it should be a little more sealed so uh, coming inside though it goes in between there it goes over here we'll have our doorway we have to frame in but then that'll be Take it. <laughs> bathroom my Atlanta so goal today is we got to get that window installed once that's installed we can start putting that plywood on and ripping boards down to get our uh, batten strips on this the main part, all the original stuff, we want to cover it, but the biggest rush is to cover where the bathroom is to get, because there's no plywood on there. At least here has some of the original plywood on it, and we've got the house wrap. We do have house wrap on the other side, but we want to start getting some of these boards up. So, yeah, we'll find a spot to set this up, and that's the plan for today. Should be relatively close. Only one way to find out.
ready? Yeah. Wanna go inside and make sure you're hitting? I'm pretty sure I am, but you could double check. I didn't really like level the ladder, babe. Why does that stick out? I think that. I don't think that cuts straight. Must have been a staple behind it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Careful. Thanks. Just remember, I've got to put battens on it. Wood. It's gonna look really pretty. Whatever you like.
So yesterday we went bargain shopping. We did. It was to go get supplies and ended up into a couple thrift stores and went to town. So we had a day of shopping again. Uh, some of this stuff, uh, you know. But that's not our really good masks. deals though. It's not our really good deals. This is our random bag. I did get a shorter hose. There's been some people out there that gave me crap about having a really long air hose that we keep tripping over. But some of the great stuff. So we'll move this. Oh. It's all a hot mess back here. I'll edit that so where it's all coming out right here. This was ha ha ha. So we ended up going to a local lumber yard that we were recommended to go to. And turns out they were getting rid of the ACE, uh, what do you call that? Name. Affiliation, yeah. And we're going with Do It Best. And so they were clearancing out all of their ACE stuff for 75% off. Yeah, there's plumber's putty. Electrical connectors. Not that we need them right this moment, but like she said, 75% off. All these stains. All these were like just a couple bucks a piece. Uh, Total projects. Yeah, it was everything that they had. I mean, honestly, I wanted to take the whole box, which would have filled this with electrical connectors. But self control, I didn't. So I left some. But we've got enough to get us started, so. Up in here, trying to get, I've got a hodgepodge of stuff. This was the rest of our conduit for doing electrical. That goes over wherever it wants, evidently. Part of this right now is also cleaning the back of the truck out. They are calling for us to get snow. Uh, the news and weather and everybody's all hopped up about it, so we're probably not going to get any. But we'll find out, and I'd rather be prepared for it and not get it than not prepared for it and then get it. So a little bit of cleanup of stuff that we've been using the last few days. These can just go in that back corner, Jake. Um, but also getting to some of our treasures. So legs. We got a treasure on legs. That's, that's all it came. Oh, for. you did that when you married me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. So, another cool, are we ready for it? But did we buy it anyways? Yep. A whole whopping 25 doll hairs. So that's what the legs are for. Um, that'll be for the shop. Prepping for the shop later on. Uh, may even be an outdoor. It's just a plastic sink, but we confirmed yesterday looking at, I think, Home Depot, Lowe's or yeah. Home Depot, one of the two that, yeah, these things are like 150 bucks. So, and it's in really good shape and it'll work great in the shop. I think this is going to go over to the, the hoop shed, <laughs> to the hoop shed for future. We're going to use it. All right. And not that it was a bargain fine, but all the years I've been turning wrenches. Fixing this, fixing that. I used the old Ooga Dooga. You know what I mean. I I I bought this. It's still in the wrapper. I'm undecided if I really want to use it, but I finally own a torque wrench. It's it's strange, I know, but I'm gonna have to do the body mounts on this truck. We still haven't got that done yet, so. Uh, there are torque specs for it and considering it holds the body on I'm I might want to just click click Sounds fancy We'll uh, we'll throw throw that somewhere that I'm probably not gonna be able to find it later um, So peeking up in here because we're gonna have to pull this off and somebody's gonna have to help unload things but this is My good find there's Waterproof sealer for decking, concrete, masonry. A tiny house, any project yeah. that we want to work on, uh, this is a, a sealer for. And this was, I think, $35 a gallon. 
and I ended up paying two or three dollars a gallon. So we just bought them all. Yeah, Why there's not? all of them. There's and then, and there's then one of polyurethane. For that'll one. be for the floors in the tiny house. And then of course, any mistakes I might want to fix with paint stripper. That was just a couple bucks yeah. too. And then of course more stain. More stain. But the really cool thing, and I know it's hard to see, and we'll stop the video but bring it back, is this is a log hauler. What do they call this? ATV log skidding arch. There's the official nomenclature for that. Uh, use the chain, wrap it around, then you pivot this back down to go onto a hitch, and you can tow your log out. I'm not sure, we don't have a side-by-side -side or anything right now, but we yeah. do have the tractor. So my thought with this is I'm gonna try to use it maybe backwards and that'll be on the far end of the log. I can use the three point on the tractor with the draw bar on it, run a chain around, lift that end of the uh, log up and then that would go on the far end. A lot of the videos and everybody we've talked to with saw milling was one of the biggest, uh, killers of your sawmill blades is dirt and a lot of that happens because you've got to get the logs you know the trees are back there and you need them up here and getting all that dirt in there so using this hopefully will help keep some of the dirt out of that bark and all that uh, when we do get the sawmill set up and uh, get to milling our own lumber is trying to get the longest amount of time we can out of blades and keeping dirt off of it. But most importantly, uh, to the pocketbook, these are brand new products, uh, never been used before. We went to go pick up this on the marketplace, um, got it for 175, so a super big bargain there. And while we were there, he said that he had um, that orange thing over there in the corner behind the beer boxes and, and uh, that is a, like a pivoted cant hook and kind of a sad story he and his wife had bought property uh in a couple towns over to uh develop and they bought a sawmill they bought all the log dogs the cant hooks you know everything they needed side by sides uh the whole shebang and she hurt herself and then he said he works too much and so they let the dream die and so they were selling everything but while we were there picking up that cart he says well i've got this other hook and good morning from the ridge well a very I... very white morning yeah we left michigan because of this but it is kind of cool and knowing it's going to be gone soon we're happy. We're happy. And it's with warm. That. I mean, I put yeah. this jacket on, but honestly, I would be fine in just my hoodie. It's, I think it said it's 34, but it feels a lot warmer and it's, yeah, it's very wet. Everything's melting. And as we sit here or stand here, it's all, it's kind of beautiful. It's all falling out, melting and falling down out of the trees. And oh. we are really fortunate. Um, some friends of ours just over where our campground used to be. Uh, they're still without power. We've not we've not lost any power, but most of our county is out. Yeah. Our town is out. The neighboring town is out. Everyone's out. So we're lucky, and we have a generator for backup. But okay, this is kind of magical. Not gonna lie. I don't know if if the camera yeah, it's, does it justice. It's honestly. definitely very pretty, and we we had some flash power last night. Um, I guess, you know, public service announcement, if you have an awning out and it starts snowing, most of you are probably smart enough to know, put the awning in. I had it set pretty steep and thought, oh, the snow will fall. No, no, it doesn't slide off. So lesson learned. But the cool part, hopefully this picks it up, is there's actually like a blue streak. Like it's supposed to be mostly cloudy today, but it still gets little shots, but... Yeah, everything is just, it's really cool. I've always liked snow, looking at it anyways, when it sticks. Of course, that causes all the damage, and that's why we have the power outage. <laughs> I almost bipped it. Well, you going that way, or? Yeah, let's go through the little tunnel. 
Or did you want to check out the power line? Well, we can check it from the other side. All right. <sighs> so, yeah, I did take the tape measure just out of pure curiosity. Is that a bunny rabbit? The uh, squirrel. Squirrel. Um, Look at this tree. Hold on, I gotta try. Am I gonna regret this? <laughs> Where's? <laughs> That was kind of cool, honestly. I enjoy it more now than I did up north because it's not so frigid cold. Wow. But yeah, I I measured uh, exactly seven inches. That's what we're at right now. Um, it was probably closer to the eight or nine um, when it was first coming down last night, but then it switched from snow back to rain that's why everything's so heavy right now but i mean it's enough that wow i could jump up here hold this i'm not don't electrocute yourself well, this is just the ground wire well you think it's the ground wire that's how low this is oh look at the ridge over there babe that is so beautiful Feel like you're on top of the world. Wow. Oh, look at that big mound. Oh, <laughs> that's not a big mound of snow in front of the house. That's my mulch pile <laughs> covered in snow. Look at the foundation. But there's more, look. That's what helps make it pretty even is you start to get that. Blue skies. The blue sky. <laughs> Let's check and see and make sure. See, I'm going to be building a stoop. <sighs> that will hopefully take care of that. Unauthorized fingerprint. Oh, this thing. Leave that a Bluetooth administrator. husband did. <clears throat> Hi baby. Hi. The sun started peeking. I know. I just got as far as I can tell everything is looking good. I don't see any uh, leaks anywhere. Here. Take the camera with you. It's really coming down on the roof out there. I can hear it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Very much. All the treetops. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is pretty. And I go down our ladder without dying. All right, here you go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I caught it. You're funny. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Okay. Well, yeah, so <clears throat> yesterday we told you that there was some big news that we were going to be um, um, announcing at the end of the video, and so this will probably be the end of the video, but uh, the more and more we progress on the tiny house, the more and more we've fallen in love with it, um, we're going to take the tiny house. <laughs> uh, we're going to be making some changes. Come on in, Jake. Uh, yes, you're stealing my house. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be building your own house. Um, we're super excited. So, it just I've fallen in love with it, and um, yeah. So we're actually gonna be adding on. Um, so all of this work on getting the insulation here and stuff—that's all coming out. The window will be coming out. We're gonna be extending on the addition of a kitchen and dining off of that, as well as a deck for the view. And so Jake's going to end up staying in the fifth wheel yep. until he builds his house. He's already scouting, which he already was scouting um, different portions of the property uh, to put his house on. And but yeah, we're going to turn this into our home because uh, it could be a year or two before we get the log cabin built. 
Um, but I never wanted a big house to begin with. I always wanted a smaller house and our last house in Michigan was what, 1200 and 1300 square feet. It was still too Just big. Under 13, we didn't even use half of it. Uh, so I was super excited. Okay. I'm super excited, but we are going to relocate the stairs. Maybe I'm still working on some final designs. Cause this is just a decision that was evolving over the last, um, couple of work five days. minutes. If anybody knows you, and change your mind and plans so but isn't the end product always beautiful when we get there i mean we don't know what the end product is until the last nails in and and even then it's kind of like we'll pull that one out we need to move this around so it's it's ever evolving and, and train i don't know we, we make transformer buildings because they move from one to the other and you know like she said we're we do want to knock part of this wall out or at least open it up because we're going to have the addition going out the back mm -hmm. to give us some extra uh that was my big thing when she first presented the idea was <laughs> would she have enough kitchen space um and being able to tra traverse steps into the loft uh, a loft was never anything that we had planned for our original long-term home um and this might be a one year, might be a five year, we don't know, might be a permanent. Um, but the more we kind of thought about it, because we looked at the designs and, you know, planning, because, you know, we wanted the log cabin. And this will be a wood building, so it's... Yeah, but, but that doesn't mean we can't have um, a log cabin somewhere on the property. But that was a big thing that we had talked about, was not having a loft. Um, a, lo a lot of the channels that we've watched <laughs> and one of the big things that, that we've picked up from quite a few of them was the whole concept of aging in place. You know, build while you're young and have the energy and ability to do it. But when you're building it, think of, okay, you know, you want to be on this property for the rest of your life. So what are you going to do when you're 70, 80? You're going to build me an elevator. 90. I saw these pulley systems you use in garages. And if we modify that, we could probably put it over there and then just... She's a hot mess, y'all. I don't know what I'm... No, I'm being serious. Like, it's a hoist system and a pulley system and... I'm going to hoist you, all right? Use your imagination. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what we have going on. And we're going to wrap up this video. And if you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out because we're way far off from ever even becoming anything on YouTube, but we're having fun with it anyway. And all of our friends and family are enjoying it. So shout out to all, all the um, people who do enjoy watching it. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace out.